it's it's all good. It's five minutes, so if you don't like it, uh, it'll be quick at least. Um, so I, I just want to talk uh, real quickly about work we've been doing in BC Bio to try to uh, uh, make things work together better. And um, so if you don't take anything else away from this, uh, you can check out this URL, uh, bcb.io. We build a tool called uh, BC Bio, um, which stands for Blue Collar Bioinformatics, which is um, a set of good quality uh, analyses for high throughput sequencing data. So if you want to do variant calling, um, you know, if you want to do structure variations, if you need to explore cater cancer heterogeneity, if you need to do RNA-seq or do small RNA, and Lorena's going to talk about all about the small RNA tomorrow, so uh, lots of details about that if you're interested. If you need to do quality control, if you need to do a lot of things associated with high throughput sequencing, uh, BC Bio has community-built analysis tools to do that uh, and do a really good job of doing it. Um, and the way we're able to do this, or our focus on doing this, is by being able to validate the things we do. So um, it's, this is a very quick moving space. Um, uh, you know, every day there's a new tool, every day there's something, a new release that you have to you know, try to integrate and work with. And it's really hard to know if those, which, how those tools compare to each other, which one's better than the other. Um, and you know, to make that worse, normally you don't do this stuff every day. Uh, you know, you do a variant calling, and then you, you know, two weeks later, or a month later, you do another one, and things have totally changed. And should I use the same thing I used last time or a new one? Um, so what we try to focus on is having uh, good quality validation sets for all these things, and uh, and multiple ones, that, so we can do cross validation. So this is a validation. Uh, you know, I don't need to go through all the details. Um, but you know, the the important thing is, you know, on the left side, you can assess how sensitive you are. On the right side, you're assessing. You're assessing how precise you are, and there's six different, you know, variant callers and an ensemble method that combines them all together. And you know, if you, I don't know if you follow this stuff. There's it uses genome in a bottle 322, which was released like a week ago or two weeks ago, and it uses GATK36 Mutec2, which was released also a couple weeks ago. Um, so we're able to really iterate quickly and you know integrate new tools, see how they do compared to other tools, and put them all together. And you know, that's kind of the the secret sauce of what, what we do inside BC Bio. Um, but in addition to sort of doing biology, which is really the what we aim to do in BC Bio, unfortunately, you have to actually run these things in real life on real data. So you have to have infrastructure, and things have to work on infrastructure. So um, we have a lofty list of infrastructure goals that we want to accomplish, right? So um, we're here, so we want things to be free, open source, community developed. We want it to be welcome to contributors, so anyone can kind of come in and help work with it, add their um, tweaks. We want it to run on local machines. You can run on your laptop and do your analysis on your laptop, right? Uh, you want it to run on clusters, um, you know, whatever you're running, Slurm, SGE, LSF. You want it to run on any cloud you can imagine. Uh, we'd like this to work 100% in clinical environments so you can take it and run it there. We'd like to have a beautiful user interface for researchers. Um, we want limb systems to dump into it and run automatically. We want it to be accessible to the general public. So we want it to do everything, right? And uh, that's clearly impossible. <laughs> so, um, so it's a long list of things. Um, but what I've realized sort of in working on this is that uh, we have a problem and that we're stuck at a lo local maxima in terms of BC Bio development. So if you want to get in on, on BC Bio and you want to work with it and you think it's cool and does great things, uh, you can do that. Um, but what you end up with is you end up buying into the BC Bio ecosystem. Uh, and you sort of end up, this is a, a fitness graph. You're nice looking at these and, uh, you know, a bunch of different maxima. And, you know, down at the bottom, down at the bottom, it's someone writing shell scripts all by themselves in their basement. And clearly that's not the best thing to do. And you start to work as a community and you do a really good job. Um, but then you end up getting locked into sort of that, un unintentionally you end up getting locked into that because um, the sort of community that you're in, because you've built a lot of complexity around the tools um, related to, you know, distributing those tools and working with them. And so unfortunately, we're not able to sort of reach this global maxima. Um, and so I think the reason why that is, or at least my, my current hypothesis why that is, is because um, we lack a lot of abstractions to work uh, together. And so we've heard a bunch of talks already this morning about uh, the community trying to build out these abstractions. So um, Common kind of workflow language is a really great, I have one minute left already. I had five minutes to start and I did four. Um, this is my last slide, so that's perfect. Uh, so um, the common kind of workflow language is a great example of uh, abstraction that did not exist two years ago that exists now. And 
I can take, and so the point of this whole talk really is that BC Bio now runs Common Workflow Language and you can go to this URL at the bottom and, uh, and grab it, this is real, right? There's like, there's things you can run right now on multiple uh, different systems. Um, and this abstraction did not exist two years ago or even last year really, right, sort of. Um, and what this allows me to do now with BC Bio is that if I want to run it on Arvados, I can run it on Arvados. If I want to run it on Toil, I can run it on Toil. If I want to run it on Seven Bridges Cancer Cloud, I can do that. If I want to run it on Galaxy next week, John's going to have that finished and I'll be able to do it there. Um, but the point is, if you want to use BC Bio, you're no longer tied into, oh, I have to like BC Bio and all this stuff. You can take what we have and put it into a place that makes sense for you. And so, you know, hopefully that will enable us to uh, to work better together. And uh, I'm I'm not allowed to ask Ed any questions now because Hilmar is coming closer and closer. But um, uh, I think there's questions after. I'm happy to talk to anyone at the break or uh, dinner tonight. Thanks.